Hey guys, it's Steven with my tool review. Today I'm going over Makita's new dust blower, model ADSA01. So this is the very first Makita tool that I have purchased and probably may get some more later on down the line, I'm not sure. But um, this is a tool that I wasn't exactly looking for. I was looking for something to um, you know, we're working in a telecom room right now at work and it gets really, really dusty. And in turn, I get really, really dusty, covered in dust. Um, and I've been tracking all this dust with me in my car, in my house, and it's, um, it's kind of annoying. And, um, also, you know, the biggest killer to electronic devices is dust. So uh, it's very important to keep the, uh, telecom room clean. And we were, you know, pretty much just wiping it down and I was thinking I'm like damn I wish there was a way you know so we could blow all this dust to the ground and then you know just use a vacuum to clean it up and whatnot so I was looking for something you know handheld and this popped up I was literally looking up dust blower on Amazon and this was one of the options and this guy came up this color the OD green and I was like oh dude I, I gotta have that I am a huge fan of this OD green it is very beautiful Makita, just make all your tools OD green from now on. This thing is really, really clean. So let's get into it. So this is a dust blower. Um, I don't have any 5.0 batteries, but my uh, general foreman was nice enough to let me borrow a uh, battery from work so I can make this video. Uh, it has a lock and unlock. It has a trigger. This button right here is for when you pull the trigger, you can lock it in place so you can keep the blower going. You don't have to keep your hand on the trigger the whole time. It has four modes from that you can cycle through uh the low setting is really really gentle um i think it you know if there's like a lot of dust that's been sitting for so long like it's literally layered um this would be enough to just kind of move it out of the way but not blow it and kick up so much dust the high setting is incredible um i used it earlier to clean um, my workstation right now where i'm making this video and I'm, obviously it wasn't really really dusty but it was enough to clean it up and um make it presentable for the video so the kit comes with five attachments let me go over them real quick um this is for cleaning off filters which i'm kind of looking forward to uh cleaning my vacuum filters my car filter my cabin filter um the job site is super dusty and super muddy at times so you can imagine all that dirt inside your car all that dust um it gets in your filters um i have noticed that once i clean my car um, it runs a lot better, obviously, the filter. And my biggest issue was I always had to go to the car, take it apart, bring it back here, use the air compressor, and um, take it back and reinstall it. Now I have the ability to just carry this with me to the car, dust it off, and then put the device back in. I don't have to come all the way back here to the workshop to use the compressor. The next one is, uh, it doesn't have a name, it just says nozzle number three. This is for blowing off into confined spaces, corners, and spaces by walls to dust off, which is pretty cool. There you go. The next one is, this is just the blower attachment. This is going to basically direct the air, and you can basically use this as a handheld blower. Um, it's really strong, guys. Like, this guy can really, if you wanted to, you can kind of clean up your backyard. I mean... You probably go through a couple batteries, but this guy can clean, you know, a dusty workstation, uh, a dirty car. Maybe you have like a tail bed that's, you know, packed with stuff. You could probably just hey, grab this and um, clean out the back of your tail bed, you know. The next one, this is the pinch valve. This is for like uh, beach toys, pillows, and similar like plastic uh, inflatables. And then the last one, this is the wide range nozzle. It's got five holes on it, and it gives you about 120 degrees of uh, blowing. So this is pretty cool. So the kit itself will run you about, I think it's like 195 on Amazon that I got. Obviously, if you're a Makita owner, good for you. You already have batteries. So they claim that you will get about an hour of runtime on high on a Makita 18-volt 6.0 battery. Um, the battery was previously used at work. We were using it um, with our bandsaw. So it's only about half, but here's what it sounds like. It's pretty, pretty strong. On low. Pretty gentle. Setting number three. And 
back to Ford. I see a lot of uh, potential in this tool for my field of low voltage. You could use it to run a parachute with a pull string through EMT. You can use it to run, um, you know, locate a um, conduit in a manhole if you're running like uh, fiber or underground. Um, I've had it sometimes where we've had to get compressor tanks and we've uh, sent compressed air through conduits, you know, to figure out which is which. I think this is a easier and maybe less expensive option. The fact that it's handheld and you carry with you the availability of nozzles that you could just push it into the conduit and be like, hey, this is the conduit that we're going to be using. All right, cool. Now you know. Um, I mean, typically, yeah, they run pull string, but there's sometimes where um, electricians don't run pull string for us. So this is a great option to do something like that. Also, just, you know, keeping yourself clean, keeping your car, your filters, your vacuum filters, etc. I think this is a great tool. Uh, the price point is about 194 again. Uh, it's available on Amazon. This color, I just can't get enough of it. This is a really, really cool color. All right, and that's about it. You guys be safe out there. Take care. Thanks for joining for the video.